Hey, this is Marcus Washington with MTC Media for the Three to Make Two podcast, Feeble World Cup edition. Uh, this edition is brought to you by MTC Media and Communications for all your web needs, including accessibility, data driven layouts, much more. Visit MTC Media LLC. Com. Well, the U.S. went 3-0 and uh, during group stage. I think that's what probably most of us expected wins over New Zealand, Greece, and Jordan. Uh, now, group two phase where things are going to be a little bit tougher. Uh, USA will face Montenegro on Friday, followed by Lithuania. Lithuania. Uh, both teams will provide more resistance. The Lithuanians can legitimately give Team USA trouble because of Jonas um, Valachunas, uh, the big man could explode, try to exploit Jaron Jackson Jr. getting in foul trouble. It's going to be interesting to see how much Steve Kerr plays a Walker Kessler in a game like that, whether it's to burn minutes, to burn fouls, something like that. So, again, you expect 3-0 going to um, the second group phase. There's going to be some resistance that you're going to see um, on this team. For all of your MTC Media's information, follow us on social media. MTC with MOOC on X, Threads, and IG. There's no argument that no player has benefited more from Team USA this time around than Austin Reeves. The Los Angeles Lakers got an extension prior to the FIBA World Cup. Getting the bag hasn't dulled anything about his enthusiasm on the floor, and it, and it shows. Reeves has come off the bench to spark a unit that includes Tyrese Halliburton and Cam Johnson. It's a perfect situation for him uh, in the sense that Halliburton and Johnson keeps the floor spread. That opens up lanes to allow Reeves to leverage his ability to get two feet in the paint, get to his mid-range game, and also his terrific movement off the ball, which isn't... Um, spoken about enough so when he gets his downhill going and he gets his jumpers going he just turns into such a different player then on defense he continues to be a pest and when i mean a pest i mean a pest in a good way Uh, not only can he get into your chest in space but he also is excellent around help side getting where he needs to be, being able to dig when he needs to dig, when guys um, get into the paint and pick the ball up, just everything. And he makes every 50-50 play or seemingly every 50-50 play. So he's definitely been the player who's benefited the most so far in the FIBA World Cup for the U.S. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Making the Cut with Mook. All one word, just put in your search um, your search bar and hit the subscribe button. Here are my awards after the first group phase for FIBA for the FIBA World Cup. Best team so far has been Canada. And and a lot of that, as much as we've talked about SGA, as much as we have, a lot of that has been defensively driven. When Canada can get the um the perimeter defense that they're getting, it makes it tough for you to score. You have to work so hard. Look at that Latvia game. Latvia gets off to this great start. And then the defense pushes them out. Step, step and a half. Now those shots are short. Now those shots are missed. Now you're up against the shot clock. And that it ends up being the kickoff to Canada's offense because now your bad shot is their first pass for their fast break. And once they get out running, boy, they have weapon beyond weapon beyond weapon. Best two players so far. I, I wanted to do a best player, but it's not best player. Best two players so far, SGA and Luka Doncic. SGA's ability to get to his spots in his mid-range game, along with getting to the front of the rim, has been a godsend for Canada. It's something that we had not seen under Nick Nurse. Just the ability to leverage um, the strengths of, of um, some of your main players. And SGA has used this. Just as a platform, we all know he's good at OKC. We all know that. But it's just like he's taking a second step, that next step that makes you think, hey, he could he could leave OKC to some special places in a year or two. Um, but again, uh, he's been one of the most impressive. And obviously, the other one's Luka Doncic, who does everything um, for Slovenia. He rebounds, he pushes, he makes tough shots. He makes passes that gets his teammates in position to be probably more effective than their talent level, which is what you have to do when you're Slovenia, uh, especially when you're without their second best player due to injury. So Luka has looked 
terrific. So definitely SGA and Luca um, have been my top two players in that group one phase. And then best story, Dominican Republic and Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns had a chance to, to establish himself as a national hero from a basketball perspective. And you didn't know. We all have questions about uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Whether you admit it or not, we all do. And I wasn't sure whether he was going to do the necessary things to say, I want to propel this team nationally and not just enhance my brand. And that's what he's done. He has propelled this team uh, nationally. He has gotten three straight wins. He goes in the paint when he needs to. He posts up when he needs to. He's played tougher um, than sometimes I expect, especially in FIBA, um, with how physical that can be. Uh, he has really, really impressed. And I don't know what's going to happen to them in the second group phase, but what Carl Anthony Towns has done for the Dominican Republic in this first phase in the World Cup has been terrific and certainly is the main story for me. Thank you for joining us um, on the, the 3 to Make 2 podcast, FIBA edition. Catch all our content on mtcwithmook.com. Have a good day.